Hey folks, how we doing? Welcome to Bulldog Barbecue. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this today because it is really, really bright out here. But what we're doing today is we're going to cook us a corned beef brisket. So we're going to get ourselves set up here. I already got the smoker rolling. We're going to get our little thing plugged in there. And this thing does pretty good on temperature, but we're going to put another probe in here just in case. So we're going to put it down here. We're going to keep an eye on these temperatures. It's not near as cold today as it has been. Uh, you guys have been watching. You know, I cooked a brisket on Thanksgiving and it was 14 degrees outside, so I actually got down to 12 that night, so we got the smoker going. It says it's at 125 now. We're going to turn it up here to 250 here in just a minute. But for now, we need to go in and get this. Uh, it's basically a brisket, but it's a corned beef brisket. So we're going to go ahead and get it in and get it started. All right? All right, here we go. Here's what we've got. I'm going to use that as a static water pan for a little bit. I've got water in there already, but... This is what we've got. We have just bought at Kroger's. This is a corned beef brisket. It is, I don't have cheaters anymore, they broke. We're looking at 3.37 pounds. It looks like it was $6.99 a pound. A little pricier than what I buy, but as of course we know that Mr. Contractor Josh bought this. Uh, and if you guys are needing any work done around your house, uh, any kind of construction done, hey, Josh is the guy to call. Uh, you can look him up on uh, Facebook. It's Josh Steiner. <clears throat> I will put a link to his page down in the description so you guys can find him. All right. Let's, we're just going to take a little knife here. And from the looks of this, we're going to have quite a bit of blood. Not really blood, it's the chemicals that they put in it to keep it fresh. But let's do this over the sink here. Because I'm really not looking forward to cleaning up a great big mess. When I do these cooks, there's enough of a mess to clean up as it is. It'll cooperate if we can get that out of there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay it right there on that plastic. They come with these little pouches, little peppercorn type pouches. All right. I'm going to rinse it off, but then I'm going to bring it back over here. And set it on this paper towel. Because I want to get rid of all that juicy, that slimy stuff that's on it. That, like I said, they put it on it to preserve it. I just don't like it. Basically, all this is is a brisket flat. If you've ever cooked briskets, you know you get two pieces of meat, actually, and two different muscles. There's the flat, and then there's the point. This is the flat part of it. Let me get you down here so you can see what I'm talking about. This is the bottom part. And then you'll have a chunk that sits up here. It's called the point. It's what you make your burn ends out of. All right, what they do with these is I would say that they pretty much soak these things in salt forever because they are salty as I'll get out if you've ever had corned beef. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to cook it for a couple hours, maybe three. It's only three, a little over three pounds, so I don't think we'll have to cook it that long, but what we're going to do is we're going to cook it like this so that it will get some smoke, and then we're going to put a pan, put it in a pan, fill it about halfway up with water, and braise it for the rest of the time that's in there. So it will just tender it to all get out. And it'll be about 198 degrees when it's done. Uh, I'm running anywhere between 130 to 150 before I put it in the pan. But we'll see when we get there what happens. All right, what I'm gonna put on this, we're gonna put, not put any salt on this. Don't put any salt on it. So I got plenty of salt. We want some pepper. I'm going to put garlic on it. Uh, 
probably a little onion powder, uh, garlic onion powder. <clears throat> That's probably going to be about it. I don't think it really needs anything else because it is already flavored. It's already got the salt. It's already been cured. It's ready to go. I just want to add a, another couple of little flavors to it. Okay, so let me grab those real quick. Now I'm putting a little onion powder on here. And a little garlic powder. And as you can see, I'm not going crazy with it. This is not like you're rubbing a brisket. This is not what you're doing. You're just adding a little flavor to it. I don't have any coarse ground pepper. It's just regular pepper. All I got those peppercorns, and I'm really not interested in that. But we do want to get the edges. And like I said, I'm just going lightly. I'm not going anything major. And this is the first one of these we've ever done. So, I mean, we've cooked the tar out of briskets and everybody knows that my briskets don't last long around here <coughs> there we go. yep no more than I wanted so we'll just smear it out there just a little pepper and like I said we're good after all the edges another big old side here wipe all my containers off now since I'm getting all this crap all over them. <clears throat> all this juice. Alright. I think that now we got one more here. Nose is running. Just a little more there. Yep. See what we did? We just smear it in. Not, try not to make too much of a mess. That's what I'm trying to do. Alright. Now let's go to the actual good meat side here. Oh goodness. Oh, onion powder. Alright, that should do that. A little garlic. You don't need anything like a binder or anything on it. These things have been cured so they're already pretty sticky. So everything will stick to these pretty easily. Let's get some pepper on here. And I believe that's it. We're going to take and put her back in this pan to carry it out to the grill. And I am going to put this on, I believe, meat side down. But I am going to watch it pretty close. I don't, it's in a vertical smoker. And you got to watch these vertical smokers, guys. They will burn from underneath if you don't watch them. That's what I use the extra pan water water pan, pan of water for. It actually keeps it from having that direct heat directly on the meat. We'll get that filled up and then we'll head out there and get a probe in her and see how long it takes. It's like our briskets, we may be shocked, but we'll find out. So here we go. Okay, folks, we're back. We're getting ready to head out to the grill. But what I'm going to do, and what I changed my mind on, is I'm going to put, I've got some ground thyme. And I put me a little bit on here. Said, you don't need to go real heavy on any of this. But I've got my sides and stuff done. I just want to get the back side, the fatty side. And it looks like most of my pepper disappeared. So I'm actually going to take, we're going to get us some of the cracked black pepper. We can get it to come out of there. They don't like coming out of the shaker. We're going to take and get us a little bit on my hand here. And the other side still got good pepper on it. But I just want to put me a crush me a few in my hand here and kind of spread them out on top here which is going to get a few more but I want us a little peppery taste to our corned beef so we'll do that get that spread out there and then we are ready to go to the grill 
me dry a hand off here and all right let's go to the smoker all right here at the smoker we're going to take our probe and put this bad boy fat side up so i'm going to find my biggest thickest part of it here we're going to probe in there pick her up here we're going to use that pan we want to put hot water in it not cold see what I got going on here. There's my brisket. I've got me a pan of hot water under it so there's no direct heat coming right up on it. I got my probe in it. I got my probe in the front and I got my water pan and right now she's running at 240. All right let's get her closed up here and this new smoke or this new wood that I'm using has actually got charcoal in it, a charcoal flavor, and I just tossed the bag. I'll try to get it out and show you what I'm using. But it doesn't show a lot of smoke, but believe me, this food gets a beautiful smoke ring. I love this stuff. And like I said, I will get you a information on what it is and either put it in the description or I'll tell you about it here in a little bit. All right. We got her going. Uh, we'll go ahead and check, see what time it is. We're gonna set up our uh, probe. Like I said, I want to. I don't want to get over 150. Uh, actually, in the smoke, the rest will be brazing it. So let's get our. We'll get our probe set up. Get uh, put this back in. This is gonna be. I'm gonna put hot water in here. When you go to braise this, you wanna make sure you use hot water, not cold because otherwise it takes forever for it to heat the water up to start the brazing process okay so we've got her going i think we're good for now we'll be back shortly okay i don't know if you can see there's not but we're going to try this is what i'm using it's lumberjack grilling pellets uh barbecue grilling pellets is charcoal and hickory this stuff if it, it's good for long burns and it's good for getting good flavor into it without having a ton of smoke but your neighbors know you're cooking all right uh, let's see formulated for maximum heat smoke and flavor and like I said it does not smoke a whole lot up here but there's plenty of smoke on the meat believe me we've done like four cooks on this bag the 20 pound bag I believe yeah 20 pounds and we've done like four cooks on this so it lasts quite a while good good for the money I don't remember what exactly was paid for it but here's the part I like too proudly made in Wisconsin in the USA now this China crap well that's a different show <laughs> uh, all right I think we're ready we're just gonna go in and cop a squat we'll be back I'm gonna take, you take any water out of that? Pour, pour me about half that in there. Half this in here? Yeah, because it's got too much water in there. So just pour me about half of it. And that'll heat that up real good so it'll be ready to go. Let me put this in there. 
show you the heights. See where we're at. I'm gonna back side up. Maybe just a little more. Alright. I'm gonna take and pull this off. I'm gonna dump this up here. These paints can all be reused. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Spread the potatoes out. Which will raise our water level too, so true. Well, we can always take this up and drink something out. What do you do with that little packet of stuff? I'm going to see what's actually in there. Onion. Oh boy, some sticky stuff. Yeah, it was in that pack with it. Yep, I'd like this to stick to the top of that plant. Carrots. one of them, one of them, doesn't matter which one, just bring me one of them in. set and rest I can do this it won't take but a couple minutes for this See that water content went all the way up? Mm -hmm. 202. Yeah, it looks like the rest of it's done too. Yeah, just let it rest and it'll get better. I don't know what we did with our tongs. Tongs. I, I did something with them, Jim. Oh, did it feel like that? No. Oh, right in front of me. Bring it on here. Yeah. And then we just put the lid on it. And it'll... Yeah. Oh, them carrots look good too. I could actually put some cornstarch in this and make it a little au jus. You could. Make it a little better. We're going to put that back, put, put that back in there until it's done resting? Yeah. No, I'm just going to leave this here. It's done. So you want to go ahead and shut it down? Yeah, carrots are fine. All right. I'm going to get this out of my way so that I can oh, sure. go ahead and cut my cabbage. Hey, and that added all the salt and everything you need to that. Yeah. To your vegetables.
Damn, boy, you get it up in here. Did you just put that whole thing up in there? Yep. How much water you got in there? Hmm? You got that filled up with water, don't you? No. That's just cabbage? Yeah. Jesus Christ, son, how the hell are you going to do that? It will down. You reckon? I know it will. Yeah. Cooked it a lot. I'm gonna leave it. See that heat? This heat sucks in this end. I, I shouldn't burp it, should I? No, I do. You just leave it there. Yeah. Get these red chili flakes in it. I should have my beard down. I don't know why I didn't. You got two in there for me the money. I think that might count. That's nothing real. <laughs> I'm curious as to what this is going to look like. Put cut open. My most curiosity goes to the point of how much salt can, content it still has on the inside of it the way we did it. Because yeah. it wouldn't stay on there when we did it, like an hour. I thought it was going to take maybe an hour and a half with the water, you think? What? We, we, we didn't write it down. What's that? I know we got it out. He said 11.30. I uh, started at 12.30. Only took six hours. And then at 5.30, we put it in the water. Hour and a half. We just now took out an hour and a half. So it took six and a half hours. Roughly. It is seven now. We've only had it out a few minutes. So I'll just say six and a half hours on that. I, I'm just making middle notes. Write that down. So only an hour in the water, and it raised it up 50 degrees. It got past that stall. So it was about an hour and a half in the water. Always, right? No, not always, but. Always if I'm here. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, you fix the cover up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah boy, I'm excited, too, bro. Let's see if we can see which way the grain on this goes. I right, just got to cut a diagonal. Literally, you cut it like this or that, either way. Oh, Lord. That's it, buddy. I'm going to fork or anything. Do it for me. So hold off enough. Once you get past that fat cap on that, it's going to be delicious. What do you reckon? That's good, dude. Huh? That's good. I'm going to say it's not as tender as like a... Some else flavor is delicious, though. 